Mama Curly here, and if you'd like to see how I created this baby shower gift, just keep watching. So the gift I'm going to be making is a basket slash closet. Super cute. I love the idea. I think it's a great gift because I'm making it. It's more personal and get a lot of great stuff inside. So I'm just going to show you all the stuff that I bought to put into the basket. This is just stuff that I bought. You do not have to buy the same exact stuff as me. If you want to buy less, if you want to buy more, that's it. This is just a guide to show you some ideas. And yeah. So first we have this doll. So cute. Soft. It says my first doll. I bought it off of Amazon. We're going to need these. Some hangers. Every baby, of course, needs washcloths this little travel kit live clean great products some bibs of course babies need bibs this is a burp cloth i got this little outfit comes with a matching headband i love the colors this is my favorite outfit so cute love it Got the fitted sheet. A lot of stuff I did buy was on sale. I love a good sale, so yeah. Got a book, only $5. Some socks, babies need socks. Another cute little outfit. The baby's gonna be born in the summer, so need little summer outfits. Little headband was on sale. So cute. How tiny are these jeans? Oh my gosh. Look at those. <laughs> I love them. So cute. I got this. This was also on sale. A little bit. Just something quick to throw on. Look at this little t shirt. Have you ever seen something so small and cute? And guess what? Only $1.50 at Old Navy. So cute. This is a must have, I think, if you're a parent. It sucks all the boogers <laughs> out of the baby's nose when they're all stuffed up. It's a great gift. We got some spoons. We got some teethers got a towel of course you need headbands so cute love headbands we got a comb and a brush and then this blanket comfy blanket and i love that it's neutral and leopard that's all the stuff I got. So first thing you're going to need is this crate. I purchased it at Canadian Tire. If you live in America, I guess Home Depot or Michael's. It was only $12.99, which is a good price. Then I went to Michael's and I bought this glue gun with the Gorilla Glue. I really want this thing to stick. No falling apart over here. <laughs> Next at Michael's, I bought these flowers just to decorate it, make it look cute. I had this in my house. It was an extra one. Maybe I'll incorporate it. I'm not sure. And then I bought these, whoops, these poles, which are going to stick to make the closet part of the gift. These were about $5 each at Arona. Again, if you're in America, Home Depot, Michaels, I guess, I'm not sure. And then I borrowed this from my dad so that I can cut the poles. So here I'm just lining up my poles to see how long I want them. It was a bit of a struggle. They kept falling over, but I got it together. Then I'm just going to grab the longest article of clothing I'm hanging up in the closet to see how far down I want it to hang into the box so yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. 
So this is the length I'm going with. I wanted it to be not too high, not too low, because I want the clothes to hang down inside of the basket, but not too much and not a big space. So I think this will be good. If not, I can always go back to Rona and buy another bowl. <laughs> Look at this glue gun, premium glue gun. It's a dual, so you can put it on the low or the high. I'm gonna be using the high for this video. And it has a light. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm really liking this. My other glue gun from Michaels doesn't have all this. This was a bit expensive. Normally, I wouldn't pay that much for a glue gun, but so far, it's looking like it's worth it. Here, I started cutting the pole on the floor, which wasn't very smart. It wasn't getting me anywhere, so I decided to go on a higher level on my counter and cut it. Once I had both poles cut, I put them in the box to see how everything was gonna look put together and how my clothes are actually going to hang and I loved how it was looking so far. This is actually my first time making this. I've never made this before, so everything I'm doing right now is my first time. So I'm just using my glue gun to glue the poles into the crate and making sure that I secure it and stick it down. I found this in my garage, this piece of sandpaper, so I'm just sanding it down to make the edges smooth. I got out my measuring tape again so that I can measure where I want my middle pole to go so that it's even on both sides. This way the clothes won't be sliding or looking lopsided. Measuring is not my thing. I just do it what I think works for me then I grab out my glue gun and I was trying to glue the pole on. This part was actually hard. I could have used another hand at this point. It was starting to get frustrating because then it kept falling on one side, then the other side would fall. Yeah, if you're doing this, I would suggest ask someone for help. After a few more failed attempts, I finally got it to stick on and I was so thankful. Finally, I can get on and start finishing this project. Since I had to use more glue because it kept falling, I found this string and I decided to cover up all the extra glue with the string. I also thought it would give it a cute touch. Also, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just wrapping it around, just trying to tie it the best I can and cover up the glue. So that's what you're seeing me do right here. Once it was to my liking, I ended up doing a basic tie and then I cut off the excess string and yeah, I like the way it turned out. Now it's the fun part where I get to put all the stuff together that I bought into the gift. I actually decided to put baby wipes on the bottom. This way the items can sit up a lot higher since the crate itself is a little bit deep. I ended up going with six packs of baby wipes on the bottom. And then I ended up putting one on top for the items that are a little bit smaller so that they could sit up higher. And now I'm just going to start putting everything into the crate. So the blankets, the doll, just everything that I showed in the beginning of the video that I bought. Just placing them how I like them into the crate. Just making it look cute and aesthetically pleasing so that when we give this gift... It's the gift of all gifts. Everyone's going to be so excited to see this gift open. I ended up adding only two of the flowers just to make it look cute. Less is more. And here's the finished gift. I love it. I love the way it turned out. I'm, I'm just in love. I'm so obsessed. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more DIYs from me, Mama Curly, comment down below. Bye, Curlies.